Hello friends, welcome to the Git series. In this video, we are going to see how to install a Git and how to add files to track and then like uh, how to create an account on the GitHub and how you can push the files to a remote repository. Let's jump into that. Let's install the Git first. Okay, go to uh, Google, just type a Git download. It will take you to the Git page, Git downloads. And you can select whether you are on a Mac or Windows or Linux, because mine is a Mac and I'm going to click the Mac OS X. And see, if I run this particular command, I can see my, uh, I can install my Git. Before you run this, make sure you have a Git on your machine. How to check the Git is installed, Git space hyphen hyphen version. And see, mine is already installed. And still let me run this command so that you can see I'm going to run once again is again uh, checking for an installation binaries and it will try to uh, update if anything needs to be done okay see it's just uh, reinstall it's installed Again, you can check git space hyphen hyphen version. This is very simple process that you installed git now. And let's create an account on the GitHub. Because GitHub is a repository or a website, I can say. Uh, you're going to store your project, your source code, and whatever the files you are adding to a git. You need to have a remote repository. As we have seen in our previous video, we need to have one remote repository. This can be a bit bucket let me see a dot github let me see assume this is a bit bucket or a github and now i'm going to create an account on the github my remote repository will be on the github so let us create an account on the github so once you come to the github.com github .com, so you can find a sign up if you are the first time user just click sign up and provide your username email password and sign up for the github because i have my account already created i'm going to log in and see i am on my uh, github account and see now we are on the github home page and i want to create a repository for us let's click a new because these are all the repositories are available on my github account now i am going to create a one more repository for this demo purpose let me create a uh, learn git this is my github name you can keep this in public or you can keep this in no, private so let me put it on a public creating a repository see now this is my uh, uh, git extension this is this is the location okay remote origin to interact with this particular repository you definitely need this one i'll show you at what step you are going to use this okay now we have a github account created and we have installed the git git and github they both are different don't confuse they are not same git is a version control system it's a distributed version control system to track your files github is a website or it is a storage a place where you are going to keep all your files or your folder or your source code it, uh, the github is a website which gives you a flexibility and the user interface uh, to track your files or to have your different branching mechanism and it, it provides it gives you some flexibility since it has a ui but it is a storage where you are going to store that is just a repository you are going to keep all your repositories on this particular website let this be a server or this could be in a cloud or this is a SaaS platform or it's just an another server where you are storing your files but git is a version control they both are different now let's try to create a folder and initialize a git over there to work with the git you need to have one folder okay let me see i have a folder here assume this is my folder this is my uh, local directory as we have seen here assume this is my local uh, repository this is my folder i'm going to initialize a git over there how to initialize a git 
let me go to a terminal and navigate to this okay i'm on this particular folder now i'm going to use git init you see now i initialized a git in this particular folder since that uh, there would be a dot git uh, is created inside this and that is in the hidden mode you see you can check here okay we are on the dot git now let's uh, just set our username and email let's config because we need to have some uh, configuration on the git that you can store your name and uh, the email let us use a git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name and you can give let's say my name is this i'm just giving my uh, configuration again i am going to set up an email this will be used to uh, this will be used for the git configuration again config hyphen hyphen global user dot email i am going to give my email address okay now if you want to verify uh, whether the configuration is successfully added and what are the configurations are being added at any point of time you can use git config space hyphen hyphen a list will give you all the configuration details this is my uh, username i added and user email i added and uh, these are the different configurations which by default being created and now let's create a file in this particular location now git is initialized here and it's gonna keep track now let's just check the git status before we uh, create a file and see on branch master no commits yet because there is nothing there is no there are no commits now i'm going to create a file and let's give a file name as some file one dot txt okay see here there is a file created file one dot txt is created in this particular folder you can see here be clear once you create a file and let me try to type something inside the file let me open the file okay click i to insert i'm going to insert here this is my first file okay and then just escape colon right tweet okay now i just uh, created a file and entered some text inside it that is my uh, first file if you want to see whether the file content cat file one dot txt see this is my first file this is the content present inside that particular file now let's try to follow the git workflow because if you look at this flow now we have a file which is a working copy and where you have typed something now what you need to do is you need to add this particular file into a index before you add let us check the status of the git first because since you created a file git status see untracked file because this file is not being tracked and to track this file you need to add to the index how you can add so git is giving you a hint use git add that file name to include in what will be committed so what you wanted to commit you need to include them let's put it in this way so that you can see okay let's see these files are not added now i'm going to use git add either i can use uh, file1.txt the file name or i can put a dot to add everything all the untracked files let me put dot or, or even you can use like uh, the wildcards it's like 
star dot uh, the file extension or star dot star so all files will get included instead of using star dot star you can simply put a dot that will include everything you see now they are added to the index since you added now let's check the git status again see earlier you are seeing that file was in the untracked and now this file is being dragged and even you can see the color has been changed new file the file onetxt because it depends on the color is uh, depending on the, whether you are on the command line or the git bash or something but here you can easily notice okay now this particular file is added to my uh, stage or index now i wanted to commit my file to a local repository let me git commit and if you want to provide a message to the specific commit what you are committing and what is the purpose of that and what you are being like updated on this file just use a hyphen m and you can pass the message this is my initial commit okay now i committed this particular file now check the git status you see now this file is committed to the local repository and the git is being tracked so far whatever we have done we have we worked on a file we add them to a stage or index and then we commit it to the local repository still this is not reflected on the remote repository because we haven't committed we haven't pushed it to the remote repository so for whatever we have done all these things are done in the offline so for doing all these things uh, you you are not really need to be connected to the remote repository now to connect to uh, to push this particular uh, the file or changes the commit into the remote repository you need to add your remote and then you would be able to push how to add the remote because so far we haven't add the remote and there would absolutely there is nothing on the remote okay. just for the clarity let me show you this is an empty repository there is nothing here now let's copy this uh, the git let us go back i need to add a remote repository here you can use a uh, git remote git remote add origin and you can define the git url that is your repository url okay now you added your git if you want to verify the remote url is successfully added what you can do is you can check you can verify git remote hyphen v you see the origin is the remote repository is being added as an origin once you have that you need to push that see by default when you create a repository you will be on a master machine uh, sorry master branch let me use uh, git push git push origin hyphen u master see now your file is being committed or is being uh, pushed to the remote let's see here let's refresh you see this particular file is uh, displayed on the remote server it's a remote repository okay this is how you can add a file now let's see let's update this particular file and try to uh, uh, push it again let me where is the file let me edit something this is my first file my first update if you want to view that use a cat file one dot txt see this is my first file and what happened to this let me open the file once again okay it's displayed because there is a space in the next line you can see 
my first update this is the whole uh, content let me now you can see whatever uh, the text that you edited initially it was uh, the version one it treats as a version one and now it will be treating as a new version so i will show you like how we tracks all the versions and whenever you want to go back you can uh, reset it to the previous version also i will show you that now if you check the git status and see this file is modified and what you need to do as per our uh, the git workflow you need to add them to a stage git add put dot and so everything is being added just check the git status and so this file is being staged or indexed now you are going to commit git commit earlier we have seen git commit and you provided a message what if you don't provide a message what will happen just click git commit and see it is asking please enter the commit commit message for your changes line starting okay see here you are going to enter a message it is asking you to give some message for this particular commit and you need to enter that and see press i to the insert mode this is my update on the original file okay press escape colon wq and exclamatory mark to come out okay now this particular file is being committed which is on the local repository you can check the git status and see you are on the branch master your branch is ahead of origin master by one commit because you have made one commit because on the remote your initial version initial version of the file was there and now you have one commit which is on your local which, which is not on the master which is not on the remote that is why it is showing your branch is ahead of uh, origin master by one commit so we have one commit on the local which is not on the remote machine now let's push that git this one okay now this change is pushed to the remote let's go to the remote let's refresh and open the file you see you can see this is my first file and the next line is a uh, space empty and my first update uh, is exactly same as what we have seen on the uh, file one dot txt file in the specific folder and this is how you can uh, uh, create a file and you can add uh, you can initialize a git on a specific folder and create a file and then you can put them on a stage by adding them to the stage and commit to the local repository commit and then you can push it to the remote repository okay but in this uh, distributed version control system you can independently work on your local without having uh, without being online but when you are cloning the project from the remote and when you are pushing our local repository into the uh, remote repository you need to be on the online so that you would be able to interact and now in this video we have seen initializing git on the local and then uh, creating a file working copy adding commit push and in the next video i will show you how to clone that and when you clone what are things will happen i will explain you what is meant by clone okay there is some spelling mistake here on the clone please ignore i think let me okay uh, in, this is the second topic on the git series we have already seen this is like a install git add files and track in a github and now let me summarize what we have seen in this video we have seen the how to install a git and how to create an account on the github and create a repository and how to initialize a git on the local repository create a file or a folder and add them to a stage commit it to the local repository and push them to a remote and we verified whether our changes are being pushed to the remote repository or not hope you understand the concept and please feel free to comment if you have any questions in the comment section thanks for watching the video